when we look at Percé Rocks, it's an emblem of tourism. You're automatically inspired just by the sheer beauty and the sheer vastness of everything. What we realize is that Mother Nature always has had a huge impact on our landscape and it reminds us how little strength we have compared to Mother Nature. There was a lot of wind, there were high tides, the waves were 10 feet high, they were crashing in. It's just so sad to see the destruction, how the ocean can be so angry. It will happen again if we don't take care of our coast. Every time there's a storm, you have to do something. You have to repair something. But it comes to a point that it has to stop someplace. Their memories are gone. There's nothing left, nothing to pass on. The village of Percé, like much of the Gaspé Peninsula, has been battered in recent years by violent winter storms. Scientists predict more powerful storms will come more often in the years to come as global temperatures rise. With less sea ice to block the waves and protect the shore, more land will be washed away. At risk are critical roads, railroad tracks, businesses, historic buildings and homes where the sea has now reached their doorsteps. For the village of Percé, an entire industry is at stake. If we had to pinpoint one, the heart of the tourism industry off the Gaspé coast, it would be right here. More than 400,000 people visit Percé every year. It's a focal point for tourists that's now strewn with debris. Nadia Manassian is prefect for several municipalities in the region where they're looking for new ways to attract visitors. This is where the boardwalk used to be. Lovers had romantic walks on this boardwalk. Teenagers used to hang out on this boardwalk. And now it's completely destroyed. When I say we have to rethink the industry, this is the heart of it. What's it like for you to look out and see all of that? It, it's, uh, it's horrible, really, because you know you can't stop it. So what you have is you have the erosion of your coastline, the erosion of your economy and the erosion of your memories. Mind your step. This used to be Elise Boivin's popular seaside cafe. So, here we are. Oof, it's emotional for me. This is what's left of Le Café de l'Atlantique. In December, the sea came barreling through here during one of the season's worst storms. This one, it crashed down. It, it broke down all the tables and chairs and the benches that were here. Now we had a long, long bar here where people could eat and drink. The stones and the rocks and the wood that was floating on the ocean just came crashing and um, broke down everything. It's total destruction. It's complete loss. And for us, it's, uh, we've lost our baby. Her restaurant behind the cafe was spared, but she lives with constant anxiety that the next storm will take it too. The emotion is strong and uh, it's, it's shared with the people from the area. Mm -mm. For some here, knowing the heart of their village is in such disrepair brings up a lot of emotion and anxiety for what's to come. Roseline Sergerie can't bring herself to go see the damage because it breaks her heart. In the 1970s, the village built a seawall and boardwalk to block the waves. But over the years, researchers say the seawall made things worse. It deflected the waves' energy back into the sea, washing away the beach and over time sending them crashing back to the shore even stronger. In this part of Percé, researchers say the coastline was expected to erode at a rate of about 15 centimetres per year. But during a recent storm, several metres of land was washed away in just one day. Municipal officials say the latest storms and destruction are clear signs it's time to abandon patchwork repairs and find ways to adapt. We can't even think about not adapting because as you can see, we're being picked away at slowly. So we have to find a, a long-term solution. So the village is considering rebuilding the beach to replace the seawall. It would absorb the wave's energy and give the sea back its due space. Communities all along this coast are searching for similar ways to adapt. 
If they don't act soon, researchers say hundreds of millions of dollars in infrastructure and tourism revenue could disappear in the coming decades. Ursule Boyer-Villemaire is a geographer and oceanographer. It's either we want to act now and protect our shorelines now and protect those businesses and villages, um, or it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us more to act in the future because we'll have to, to build something bigger or uh, more drastic to protect what is the assets that are there at the moment. For some, it's already too late. What you see now is my land, my cottage, was just off here where the sand is, where you see the sand. And today what we're seeing is in a third storm since the last of December, and uh, it's raging again. This used to be a piece of land that was in Brenda Murphy's family for four generations. Last year, she tore down the cottage her father built after it was repeatedly pounded by the waves. Then a storm in January swallowed the land itself. It's sad. And look out, when you look out and you see the damage it's doing, something has to be done fast if we want to save what we have. But to me, I think this is the end. The end of her dream to pass on her land to her children and grandchildren. I get emotional because of the souvenirs, the beautiful times that we had. Such a beautiful place. Elise Boivin is coming to terms with the loss of her cafe. The rocks, they start here, but they come all along the way and protect the side of La Maison du Pêcheur. And she's taken matters into her own hands, bringing in these rocks to protect what she has left, knowing eventually the restaurant will just have to move. We would repair every time and uh, would try to make it a little bit stronger every time we did, but um, nature did what it did because we were in their way. It's what many coastal communities are grappling with. After years of fighting the sea, some are now trying to work with it, to accept it as a force they can't hold back. In Per Se, with scenes like this all along the coast, there are worries about this summer's tourist season, but hope too, that this view of the sea will continue to draw people here for years to come despite what's happening to the shore. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Percé, Québec.